At the office of the press in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, young Mr. Herbert F. Kretschmann, the editor and also president of the Chamber of Commerce, has just finished his day's work. Like millions of other men all over America, he starts for home. Home to Mr. Kretschmann is this delightful white cottage, financed with a Federal Housing Administration insured mortgage, on which he makes monthly payments of only $20.45. And what's more, this monthly amount includes everything, principal, interest, hazard insurance, and taxes. Home ownership has been an ambition of this man for several years. Today it's an accomplished fact, and we find him leading a new and happier life in surroundings of cheer and comfort. For himself, his wife, and his daughter, this new home is the end of many years of hoping and planning, and the beginning of many more years of greater contentment and prosperity as a homeowner. Morrow, Arkansas. Mr. F. L. Reynolds, a barber, is watering the lawn of the house that he purchased for $2,850, and for which he is paying $24.13 a month, covering principal, interest, hazard insurance, and taxes. This dwelling is small, but ample for the needs of Mr. Reynolds, his wife, son, and sister-in-law. Mrs. Reynolds and her sister are school teachers. At his service station in Panama City, Florida, Mr. George W. Riddick is working with a new feeling of contentment and stability. For he knows that his wife and daughter are happy in a home of their own, which Mr. Riddick is paying for with monthly payments of $18.26. He estimates that in the past 13 years, he's paid over $7,000 in rent. During the next 10 years, he will pay less than $2,200 in principal, interest, insurance, and taxes, and will then own this charming home free and clear forever. A pleasant prospect for Mr. Riddick and his family. In Norman, Oklahoma, Mr. T.H. Cordell comes home from his work as a linotype operator to spend a pleasant evening in this home of his own with his wife and family. Mr. Cordell is not worried about the monthly payments of $22.32, for they're less than he used to pay in rent. And he and his son are losing no time in planting a truck garden to make the house earn part of its keep. Another happy family. In the same town, the local paper built a model home and offered it for sale. The paper's enterprising young city editor, Mr. Roscoe S. Kate, Jr., bought it and is making payments of $22.32 a month. And here it is, a charming home for two charming people and a lot of house for the money. Another family that thanks the Federal Housing Administration is that of Mr. J.D. Thompson of San Antonio, Texas. And this is the home that he has bought. His monthly payments are only $24.58. Mr. Thompson supplements the pension he received as a firefighter injured in line of duty with earnings from his garden and his chickens. And from the sale of useful furniture that he makes in the workshop he set up in his garage. A combination home and business which means comfort and prosperity for this man. In Chile, New York, Mr. Elmer Kaiser has bought this stucco house for his family. It looks rather imposing for a low-price home, but the payments are only $20.45 a month. The whole family is happy here. Mother finds that even the kitchen work is easier in a home of your own. Daughter can look forward to many pleasant years in her own residence with no landlord to complain about the dog. Hidden away in New York is a tiny village of quaint little houses that really make you think of home, sweet home. This aeroplane view shows almost the entire village, but the fanciful qualities of its fairy-like houses can be better appreciated from a closer inspection of this little flat roof dwelling, for instance, silhouetted against the clouds, or this more elaborate residence. Some of the houses are tall and thin. Each has a note of individuality and design. And this is the village church. This and all the other houses are the creations of one man, August de Bracker. They are made, as you may have guessed, out of candy. With deft fingers, this candy artist places the stripes on a tiny awning. Then puts the side of the house into place to finish another building. It looks almost good enough to eat. And it is, as this little lady has learned to her pleasure. 
These houses are new and in some ways they resemble the thousands of other new houses that are springing up all over America. Now that the Federal Housing Administration plan makes real home ownership possible on easy, convenient terms. 